Zyoflex is an enzyme derived from a bacteria called Clostridium histolyticum. And it's a very specific enzyme derived from a bacterial species that dissolves collagen, which is the major component of scar tissue, which is to say Peyronie's plaque. These other medications are taken orally. They go through your digestive system. And there's no peer-reviewed data that shows they do anything really powerfully against Peyronie's plaque. Certainly nothing even close to what Zyoflex accomplishes. You have to realize that Zyoflex is injected directly into these scar tissue plaques where it attacks the scar, the collagen, and dissolves it. It sounds really dangerous. The fact is the drug itself is a purified form of those enzymes, so it does not involve the bacteria. It doesn't spread or cause those kind of problems. Um, it does appear to be effective and safe. There is a paper uh, that has already been published electronically on uh, a phase three clinical trial, uh, Zyoflex versus placebo. This study involves 800 men, approximately, both in the United States and Australia. And it shows that in terms of correcting curvature and in terms of improving subjective responses on a questionnaire about symptoms, Zyoflex outperformed placebo with statistical significance, so it is effective. The safety profile in this study was quite acceptable. It caused black and blue, some bruising. There were some tears of the corporal cavernosa, were so-called so ruptures. About three cases of that that were repaired surgically in this group of 800 patients. Um, a couple of cases of hematoma where blood accumulated and needed to either be aspirated. One case had to be drained surgically. But for the most part, there were very few complications or problems that didn't resolve on their own within 14 days. But the important thing is, uh, despite the fact that something like 98% of patients uh, developed antibodies against this, there were no um, hypersensitivity, allergic reactions, anything of that sort in this group. In the most current paper, the one that's published uh, online and will be appearing in July, it caused on the average something like 34% decrease in penile bending compared to the patients who got placebo uh, where they experienced about an 18% decrease in penile bending. Uh, and you have to realize that the placebo group in this clinical trial was active, actively uh, being treated by stretching or modeling. Uh, so it was what we'd call an active placebo. It wasn't like they got nothing at all. They were getting stretching as well, which probably helped a little bit. But the patients who got Zyoflex were getting Zyoflex followed by modeling or stretching of the penis. And they improved considerably more than the patients who received placebo. Zyoflex is currently being reviewed by the FDA and they are due to make their pronouncement by the first week in September. So at this point, it's not FDA approved and I can't really say if it will be FDA approved. Uh, but if that happens, it will be in September. And uh, I would expect if it gets FDA approval in September, we'd expect to see a launch by the drug company probably in the fall of, of 2013.